It's time to go behind enemy lines, sponsored by Microsoft Teams. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith, and we are pleased to be joined one of the busiest people who covers the Houston Texans, D.B. Sidhu, who joins us, and she's on Texans Radio, Texans Television, HoustonTexans.com. We appreciate you taking time to join us. I want to start by, of course, talking about the quarterback, Deshaun Watson. It seems as though, no matter the situation, no matter the Houston Texans record, he's playing 100%. He's going hard. Is that kind of the calling card of Deshaun Watson that he just never gives in? It's just a disastrous season of epic proportions, and yet he is the bright spot for this team. He's what fans come to watch week after week. He's always played at a high level. He's such a competitor. You know, he's the guy that when the game's on the line, you feel very confident if, if he's got the ball one last drive. But this season, he's just played just extraordinarily well. He's passed for over 30 touchdowns this year, which is a new franchise record. He had 10 games this year without an interception. DP, how do you expect the Texans to respond to what J.J. Watt had to say after the game about professionalism and making sure that you were going to the end? I think there's a lot of frustration. I think there's frustration with losing. There's frustration when you lose your head coach and your general manager after week four. I mean, it's a long time for an interim coaching staff to sort of keep this team together. I totally expect the Texans to come in and give the Titans a great game. It's their last home game of the season. These guys are trying to put good film out there because even if they're not with the Texans next year, they want to be with an NFL team somewhere. So I expect everyone to come in and play hard for this final game of 2020. Well, it seems like regardless of what the records are, the Titans and Texans always have some really good games. If the Texans are going to play spoiler for the Tennessee Titans and get the win, what position group or players are really going to have to show up on Sunday? I think the run defense is really going to have to show up. I think Derrick Henry just, it doesn't matter who is playing against Derrick Henry. If he gets past that that second level, he's gone. He's so hard to stop. And I feel like that's going to be the big emphasis this week. So the linebackers, that front is going to have to do their best at tackling and containing him so that he doesn't get out into open space and make big plays like we've seen in the past. DB, thanks for taking us behind enemy lines sponsored by Microsoft Teams.